Frank Hafe Show. Brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the men's basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith. And coach, you guys are rolling. Five-game winning streak now. What's been important for you? Well, I, I, obviously, you know, the winning the games. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I think the, get, the thing is about our team is we're starting to come together uh, in terms of offensively starting to share the ball. I look at our assist numbers. They're up. And, and we're rebounding just enough. we got to continue to get better in that area. But our defensive numbers are – our, 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 one, our first stop in terms of possession, defense numbers are really, really good. Absolutely. And what a terrific week for the University of Tulsa basketball program. Wins over a number five team and then a win where Tulsa hadn't won since the 1960s. All of that is coming up on the Frank Hayes Show. the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Frank Haith Show as the Golden Hurricane taking on number five Houston at the Reynolds Center. And, Coach, you, you knew, as you mm -hmm. know, that it's going to be a rock fight against those guys, huh? It, 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 we knew it. And, uh, I mean, they were one of the best teams in the country, Bruce. And, and you talk about they have everything. You, you know, have good. They play great defense. They're very physical. They got shooters and scores. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough match. Uh, but also they, they have great momentum. They, they haven't lost a game yet. So, uh, but I thought our guys had a great mindset going into this game, which we knew we had to be uh, in terms of what, on point what we want to do offense and defensively. A year ago, the Golden Hurricane defeated Houston at home, and Houston, of course, the Cougars remembering that as Tulsa gets ready for the Cougars today. The, the, in this day, the, uh, the number five team in the nation coming in, and uh, it isn't often you get number five coming in, and your team here in the early going gets an early basket to tie the game at two. Yeah, great, great, great uh drive and hesitation by Keyshawn. I kid Keyshawn, I said, man, you score probably our first bucket about every game. Um, right there, we need to have a hand up on the shooter in the corner. And uh, they knocked that down. Uh, this is what I love, paint touches, right? Getting that paint, kick it out. Don't always shoot it in the paint, but those paint touches are important to getting a great shot. Brandon Rochel has continued to work on his outside game, hitting that three-pointer. And speaking of outside game, this guy can hit three-pointers. And look at that rainbow. That was big, big for Curtis got going this game. And I think he, in the first half, we were struggling scoring early. He makes three threes here in the first half. Yep, nine points for him in the first half. Good, good sharing of the ball. And again, uh, when he's open, he can knock that thing down. Yeah, that's a great one more by Keyshawn Williams. And obviously, we've talked about Keyshawn. I mean, Curtis knocking that down. And here's... 
Again, that extra pass, and again, Curtis Haywood is there, and he knocks down his third of the first half, and uh, boy, that's just good to see. It is, we're really sharing the ball, and this is great execution right here on that flat ball screen, and DJ knocking down a three in the corner. Darian Jackson with that shot to give Tulsa the lead at 27 to 26. This would be a game they would go back and forth, back and forth, and nice drive, nice play by Darian again. Yeah, really, you know, a play we call circle, and where we give those guys option on the dribble drive, and he turned it up, and good space right there by Kurt that caused those guys to kind of uh, be indecisive on switching or not switching. And great job in finishing that ball hung on that rim a long time. Boy, it, it sure did. It seemed like it bounced about five or six times, but it did go in for Elijah Joyner at the buzzer. You can see when that buzzer went off and somehow, some way it stays in the cylinder and goes down through. And so at halftime, you're up 31 to 30. How important was that? It was good. I mean, that we, you know, we understood we hadn't played our best half offensively, but we're up one. And uh, we thought we deep and played, played really good defense. You know, they, they did, I think they were one for 11 from three point line and 38% from the floor. And the Hurricane just a little bit better from the floor, and here we go into the second half. And driving, Elijah Joyner, when he gets that gap, man, he can finish it. You see the lineup, we're, we're small out there, and we thought we needed good ball handling and uh, driving these guys at some point in time, and that's what we had. Uh, the first drive at Eli, and then offense rebound by Brandon, and then uh, Keyshawn off the deck again. Good finish. Embry Simpson with that basket for the Golden Hurricane. Tulsa down by one, but not for long, as uh, the Hurricane, despite the fact you looked like you had a pretty good fast break situation, get it out there because Houston got back, and now you just run your offense. Paint touch. Yep, there it is, and uh, good patience, good pivot, kickstand, good layup. So Brandon Rochelle finishing, and the Golden Hurricane continuing to stay with number five, Houston. And again, the backdoor cut, that's been good for you, hasn't Yeah, we really worked hard because I think we're a good passing team and we've been and put ourselves in a position where we can get some of these plays and uh, part of it is we got guys can really pass the ball. And here's another offensive rebound. What a week for Rachel for the Golden Hurricane. Brandon ends up being the American Athletic Conference Player of the Week and the Naismith Player of the Week nationally. So that's, that's a really good week for him. Really good week. Uh, and speaking of good week, this guy really continues to get better. He's Ray getting Edo. better, isn't he? Getting better. And, uh, you know, we ran some plays for him to go score the other night against Cincinnati. But that's what he can do. I think, we, you know, he's a guy that can has good hands and passing the ball. It's great to see Austin Ritchie knock down that three. And everybody seems to contribute sometime, somewhere. And even though that was the only three he made, it was really important, wasn't it? It was. It was. And then, obviously, this was a Brandon just uh, making a tough shot there. The step back three for Brandon Rochelle and Tulsa's up by six at that point. But here you see Houston has knocked the lead down to two again. Again, Darren Jackson, good hands. And then Brandon, good hezzy, good shot fake, and good finish. And the tip in could have been either him or Ray Idowu on that play. I think they ended up giving the basket to Ray Idowu on that play. But uh, good hit in the board by both of those guys. Yeah, it was. But I think Brandon tipped that one in. But uh, I, I, I would agree. <laughs> yeah, it looks that way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Here we got to go rebound that ball. That ball, we, we were out there contesting that shot, and we got to get back and play. That's something we really got to work on. So the Hurricane now down 63-62 after this shot by Mills. Uh, down 64-63. I'm sorry, Coach. Yeah, one point lead, and now what are you doing? And I'm telling Eli, just go make a play. Go make a play. And usually late game, everybody's watching that ball. Uh, and there was a great job just making one pass. And we, we set up the ball screen and a drag screen. So they came up and then that one pass allowed Brandon to get that step he needed to get to the rack and get fouled. Yeah, and uh, certainly uh, glad that they blew the whistle because sometimes they do swallow the whistle, don't they, in the final game situation. So uh, and he made both. That was the important thing. Now you're up by one point one seconds to go. You cannot get a shot off at point one, can you? That's correct. And uh, obviously Brandon steps up there and make two big free throws. Uh, you know, guys really excited for him. And uh, but it's a big win. History making win for the Golden Hurricane, 65-64. It's the highest ranked teams Tulsa has ever beaten at the Reynolds Center and the second highest ranked team Tulsa has ever beaten. They've had a win over number three and a win over number five and now another victory over number five. Just a huge win for your team. It was, and uh, I'm so proud of our kids. Uh, you know, I really hate the fact that our, our folks wouldn't be there to see it, you know, yep. and, uh, uh, but our guys really handled themselves well. 
Um, we were clutch in the stretch, down the stretch, make some big plays defensively, and obviously offensive was there. Yeah, that would have been one of those court storming situations, I'm sure, Coach. Yeah, I and mean, you beat a team that's ranked fifth in the country, so really proud of our guys. Absolutely. So Tulsa defeats Houston. Could they go to Cincinnati and win as well? Find out next on the Frank Hafe Show. For real, listen to this. We're, we're just scratching the surface. Facts. Because we didn't play well in the first half. We're just scratching the surface. We could be so good. You understand that? We just got to have complete buy-in. We're, we could be that good. But now, hey, we got to, it's a long year. That's just one win. We got to go to a place we never wanted. Proud of you. Continue to handle yourself the right way. I'm so proud of how we hung in there. We hung in there. We hung in there. Out of the way. And Eli, here's what you got to learn. Remember, in a, in a late game situation, it, all it takes is one pass. Right? They're all watching the ball. You trust your teammate to make the pass to be, he makes the play. Sir. That's, that's, that's big time. Sir. That's growth. Sir. All right? Hey, again, proud of you. Love you. Let's keep it going. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal, or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern Comfort Food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. American. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. A winter storm of cash is coming your way during River Spirits' Snow Me the Money Giveaway. The winnings are piling up, and you could be chilling in a blizzard of big bucks, a cool $25,000 each week. Play and earn entries daily for your chance at one of five cash drawings in January. 25 k every Saturday at 11 p.m. Winning is so much fun, so get ready for a blast of cash during our Snow Me the Money Giveaway, only at River Spirit Casino Resort. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show. Golden Hurricane coming off the big win over number five Houston, and now it's at Cincinnati. So that's not much easier, is it? Huh? No, it's not easier. <laughs> Obviously, they were picked preseason, I think, third or fourth in our league. Uh, but they have a lot of talent. Uh, you know, we're up there last year, we got it handed to us. And we've never won up there. So we know it's going to be a tremendous challenge. They played a tremendous schedule. So when yes. you look at their record, you, you kind of get missed. They played Tennessee. They played Xavier. They've had a tough non-league schedule. No doubt, and Tulsa has not won in Cincinnati as a program since 1967, back when they were both members of the Missouri Valley Conference. So it's important on the road to throw the first punches, and you did. We did. Brandon with a uh, nice throwback uh, jump shot right there, good rise up, and he early on he was outstanding. Uh, and, uh, again, you know, no hesitation, shooting the ball with confidence. He's really worked on his outside game, hasn't he? really has. He's taken it to another level. And Brandon's a tremendous worker. He's put in the, the, the time you need to play in to get better. But this is a great play by Darian. And obviously, Ray Ray had another had a great game also. Idowu with that basket to make it 8-2. Now it's 8-5. And the Hurricane looking again for number one. It's good hands. So we talk about Ray's hands and handling that ball. Great job, you know, with the pinch post action there. And giving Brandon another opportunity for another shot. 10-5, Hurricane with the lead. Now you see it's 15-7. to seven. What your team did so well was share the ball, huh? Great back cut, great pass. 
paint touch, kick it, drive it. That's all the things you want to run good offense. I think all five guys touched it on that Absolutely. one, didn't they? So here you are up 17-9. And Ray Edo had a great game. He really did. And I think that probably, probably got fouled on that, sh that shot, too. 19-9, the score at that point now, 19-11. And a uh, nice job of getting to that one-on-one -on -one or that 50-50 rebound, if you will. And here's Austin Ritchie finishing. Yeah, we practiced those two-on-0 two on uh, drills and nice pass up to Austin Ritchie. And you, I don't know if you saw this play, but he, you know, yep. Eli threw that off a uh, big fellow's back. And, you know, they had their backs turned and good finish, get an and one on that one. Doesn't always work, but certainly a veteran like Eli knows, hey, that guy's not going to turn. And all of a sudden, he gets a three-point play out of it. Yeah, just just good awareness. You know, you know, a veteran, like I said, can make that play. So the Hurricane back up by double digits, and now it's back down to eight. And boy, is he feeling it or what? Yeah, he's just, his shot's quicker, you know, getting it off, off the bounce like that. Uh, and, and that gives him a chance. And when you feel that good, you'll take this one. About a 25-footer. Yeah, he's putting a lot of work. And... Uh, you know, the kid is uh, getting better and better. So when you look at halftime, we, we shot the ball incredibly well, 59%, 44% from three. But look at the defensive numbers. And yeah. that's what is important, that we hang our hat on that, even on the road where we, we held them to 30% shooting. Uh, they did make some threes, 33% from three. Well, and even with those great numbers, you're only up by eight. So you, yeah. <laughs> no way that you're out of the woods at all. And, in fact, here you go. Cincinnati makes the early run here in the second half, a 4-0 start for them, and a nice shot by Embry Simpson. Yeah, just, you know, just probing, probing, sharing the ball. Um, great job of that. And then, we, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't lay on the line. and We didn't block out there. They got a second shot. And now with this three-pointer by Jeremiah Davenport, they tied the game at 44. So you know you're in a dogfight as, as you expected. Yeah, you, you're gonna, they're going to make a run. They're at home, and, and uh, they're, they're a good team. So uh, not perfect execution, but there was a lot of play. We, we kind of bobbed a little bit, but we still finished it. Yep. Two veterans. Darian Jackson with that slam to give you the lead at 46-44, and that would spur an 11-0 run for you. Yeah, we just, I think the toughness of this team is noticeable right now. And uh, good drive and kick up. We call that kick up where you got to find an open area, baseline drive, a good kick up, good finish by Ray. Haywood with the very nice pass on the bounce pass. And there you go with Ray Edowu again. This was a nice put it on the deck play, wasn't well, it? Well, it's an ISO. We're in an ISO play for Ray. And like I said, we're starting to run a little more things for him. He's more confident. Another kick up play, right? And he's got that little floater. Uh, where we baseline drive, you find an open area, and uh, he can finish that. That was the end of the 11-0 run, and Brandon hadn't scored in the second half, and then you really did a nice job of identifying a mismatch there. Well, that's great identification on a bout of bounce play. We knew they, they were switching, and we sent him right to the block and threw it in there, and he went and scored it. And Curtis Haywood with a nice scoop. Big drive there, left-hand finish by Curtis. And you can see as Cincinnati makes their run, get a nice offensive rebound here. Again, we talk about Bray's a passing ability. Nice find on, uh, on the offensive rebound, but finding Brandon cutting down the lane. And you're up by six, and then moments later, Ido again. And again, he's feeling it now. A new career high, 16 for him. Another set play for him. Uh, we call that chest po uh, punch. Punch it inside. Good finish. They get a turnover and race it down the, the court. And now you can see it's a one-point game with about two minutes to go. Yeah, those, we had a couple tough shots, but great execution right here. Obviously, big-time shot by Brandon to uh, finish that. How about that? You know, he got the contact, and, you know, why not just flip it up there and see what happens, huh? And you end up getting a three-point play out of it in, a, in an absolutely crucial uh, situation. And somehow, some way, he keeps that pivot foot down. Yeah, he really didn't travel. I know they were yelling to travel, but he didn't travel. Uh, and uh, just good concentration and finishing. Finish the three-point play, and this is a nice pass by Cincinnati. They get it inside, and it's back down to one now. Yeah, DJ got fell asleep on that back cut. Uh, again, Brandon, way to keep his foot down, finding DJ, good finish. 68-65 is your score there. You get a couple of free throws, clutch ones at the uh, last few moments. That layup misses, and when Darian Jackson collects that 50-50 ball, you know 
It's over, and Tulsa's won for the first time in Cincinnati since 1967. And there you, you see the numbers. They're beautiful. 57% <laughs> shooting, 34% a new low this season for Cincinnati. You want it with defense for sure. Yeah, and they shot 34%, but, uh, you know, I think they scored some second-chance points in offensive rebound. And so, uh, you know, our defense was excellent, you know, the first, as long as we got back. When we took some quick shots uh, or we, they blocked some of our shots, we shot it in their hands, they got those transition bucks. You take those away, I think we hold them below 30%. But all our great performance. Absolutely. Quite a week for the Hurricane, beating Houston and Cincinnati in the American. We'll be back with more in a moment on the Frank Hayes Show. the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Frank Hafe Show and on our feature segment sponsored by the Don Thornton Auto Group. It is mic'd up earlier during practice. We had a chance to put a mic on the head coach, Frank Hafe, and here's how that goes. To have uh, someone trying to get behind the ball, someone getting in the middle, and then, you know, then, then we got to have someone at the sideline. Eli, Darren, you leaking out. You can't do that, man. Got to rebound the ball. All right, listen, our mindset is not to get through it. It's to get something from it, right? Yeah, so yeah. you cannot come to practice and say, it's a day I just got to get through this practice. It's I got to get something out of this practice, okay? We got to get better, all right? Austin, if he throws it back to you. Right, come back to you. Go. Come back. Look. Look long to add it, baby. Catch it. Catch it. Finish. Finish it. Good. 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 Here we go. Here we go. We got to have somebody get to the middle. We got to have somebody come back behind the ball, but I can't tell you who that's going to be because as you advance in the ball, you don't know where you are. So you got to find an open area to get open. All right, here we go. But if you're strong side, you got to stretch because you got to give the middle guy room to try to get open. Okay? Go hard. Go hard. Push yourself. Do your work early. Do your work early. Too slow. You're not going to get it off. Do your work early. Get ready. There you go. Good, good. That's it. You got to practice. You gotta have you gotta have game speed, man. Roll, roll, roll. The only way you're gonna get better is you do it game speed. Kurt, hey, I want you on the blue team because I want you to look to score more. Yeah. Because you need to get yourself to the point where your mindset is I gotta score that ball. All right. I see that work you're putting in. Good, Eli. That's when you shot, but you get in the game sometimes. You start jumping high. You gotta shoot the ball like that. All right. Be consistent with it. Every the blow. Good. I let. Good job, Eli. If you want to make it have a chance, you got to, the change got to be better. Two things will help you. Take better shots, but also I think you'll have guys who create for you more. You don't have to create for yourself. But your mindset is you don't need to take contested shots, all right? And then, then it'll come easy for you, okay? Here we go. Good pass. Knock it down, knock it down. Got to make that, got to make that, got to make that, got to make that. A winter 
storm of cash is coming your way during River Spirit's Snow Me the Money giveaway. The winnings are piling up, and you could be chilling in a blizzard of big bucks, a cool $25,000 each week. Play and earn entries daily for your chance at one of five cash drawings in January. 25 k every Saturday at 11 p.m. Winning is so much fun. So get ready for a blast of cash during our Snow Me the Money giveaway. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Some people deliver packages. Others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal, both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern comfort food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. Welcome back to the Frank Hayes Show. As we get you ready for another busy week, and Coach, looking at the standings, you guys are jammed right up there in the top at 3-1. and one. Uh, Wichita State is unbeaten at this point, but uh, it's so early, and now you have a busy week, don't you? It's so early, and you play in 20 league games, so it's a long way to go. Um, we've had two big road wins, which I think, if, if you're looking at the big picture, are important. But uh, we got the Florida schools this week, you know, one at home, one on the road. They're both really, really good. Uh, South Florida on Wednesday. Uh, they were picked, I think, fourth by some polls or fourth or fifth, and we know how talented and tough they are. You gotta, we got to take care of that ball in, that, in their building. And, of course, then UCF at home and that game coming up on Saturday at the Reynolds Center. For the head coach, Frank Haith, I'm Bruce Howard. We'll talk to you next week. The Frank Haith Show, brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, the credit union, River Spirit and St. Francis Health System. The Frank Haith Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a Kane Vision production.